Hi, it's your YouTube friend Brad here, and it's part four of my series on how I monetize this channel. If you're starting here at part four, I would suggest you start at part one. I kind of give some background, and then I give a lot of tips on basically how I monetize this channel. So um, the big bulk of the uh, information has been out there, but I, I know a lot of people are interested in some of the people I've interviewed, and then some of the people who uh, have declined to be on this show. And so I thought right here, this would be a good time to tell you about some people that I've contacted, because out of all the people that I've talked to, there's been a lot from the from the Stern Show, um, and it was hard to get them, and I was very persistent, I will say, and they would probably tell you the same, but I, I really do appreciate them. I've become pretty good friends with guys, I would say acquaintances, with guys like Doug Goodstein and Tim Sabian, guys that I had never talked to before in my life until August of last year, and uh, now I have regular conversations with, um, with them uh, via text, and we just check in. Uh, Tom Chiasano has been great. Um, my mom's battling cancer. He battled cancer and he was very nice. He called my mom to talk to her. Um, so Tom is just salt of the earth. He's such a good dude. And uh, it, was, it was just so much fun having a conversation with him. Tracy Millman, I mentioned, I tried working her over for, for, for months and she just was not willing to do it. And I told her, listen, we're going to have fun. We're going to smile. And so when she did it, she did tell me she had a great time and I, I try to keep in touch with her. So, um, there are people that have said no, though, and I don't have any problem with that, but I don't mind telling you about that, and I'm, I'm not going to out everybody, but I think it's interesting to uh, to hear this, and then I'm going to tell you kind of the future of my channel here, as I've, I think I've maybe squeezed enough out of the Howard Stern uh, Artie Lang update title. Uh, it did help me uh, over the last 12 months um, monetize this channel, and that's the reason why we're here. And again, if you want to hear more about how I monetize this channel and some tips and tricks, it's definitely uh, best to check out part three. Um, again, title, keywords, tags, view time, watch time, uh, and, and views, I'm sorry, uh, kind of the main points of that, uh, of that uh, video. But I, I would suggest you go back and take a look at it if you're interested in, in monetizing and hopefully you're watching these in order. So some names. Um, Dominic Barbara, I've talked to on the phone, I've texted, I've emailed, we've had interesting conversations. I'm not sure if he ever was going to do it. He, at one point, he seemed like he might, but uh, Dominic, uh, no go. I don't, I don't think I'll keep bothering him. I just don't think he's interested. But for one second there, I thought he might. Uh, Brad Driver, he, he was a, a, a seemingly was going to be on head of the news team for so many years. I thought that'd be fun. Uh, he started ghosting me. We were having good conversations, but uh, Brad, I, I no longer hear from Brad, and that's fine. I would have loved to talk to him. John Lieberman from the Howard 100 News team, uh, he said no. Uh, he was going to do it. We, I mean, we had conversations probably starting in, I would say, probably October or November of last year, and the, up till this day, we. I finally said, John, I, I'm not going to keep bother, bothering you. He's very busy. He's got some new work, and I think some people just kind of want to move on from their lives which includes a guy like Greg Carmel uh, from the <laughs> Howard TV, at one point seemed interested in it, uh, has no interest now. And I totally understand that. We had a good conversation over email, um, but he's you know doing other things and doesn't really care to, to talk about this. Richie Wilson said no. I was interested in that because he does go on other Stern Show podcasts. But, uh, and uh, Doug, you know, I had Doug sort of helping me maybe with that one, but uh, no, no dice on, on Richie. And that's fine. I had no, no problem with that. George Takei. I've tried George different many different ways. Haven't heard a thing back, so don't think that's going to happen. Crazy Cabby have had many long conversations uh, dating back to pretty much. He was one of the first guys I got a hold of, and so uh, his name's Lee, by the way. Of course, most people know that, and I know Lee's had kind of a rough uh, go of it of late. And so I told him, I said, listen, we're just, we're not going to, you know, we're just going to hear what you want to say. And, uh, you know, I wanted to hear his, you know, and I just told him, I said, people want to hear from you. Um, I, if I ever continue doing Howard Stern interviews, I, I hope he'll do it. We're still talking about doing it. Um, and maybe you'll see him pop up somewhere else. But uh, he he is one that I have definitely been in touch with and tried to get a hold of many, many, many times. Uh, very persistent with old Lee, old crazy cabbie but it didn't work out. Uh, Captain Jenks just said flatly no. He still, you know, does the only place he talks is on the Howard Stern Show. Uh, High Pitch Eric said no. I felt like it'd be fun to have a whack backer. He said no. 
I actually didn't say no, he blocked me. Uh, Penny Chrome, did not hear from her, uh, sent her many emails. Not even sure if I had the right email address, but did not get his response from her. Lisa G, right away, uh, she was one of the first people I thought of um, when I thought about doing this series. I thought Lisa G added so much to the show, uh, good or bad, however you think about it. And I know she might have been promoting a book. Uh, the show's called Here's the Pitch, so I'm here to help people pitch. I know that, you know, I try to get people on. Anyway, Lisa G uh, flatly declined, but was very nice about it. I asked her again. I haven't heard back. So I, she's just not doing interviews about the Stern Show. I totally understand that. Uh, Dan, the song parody man. Uh, we were in constant contact. I thought we were going to do one. Um, and I thought we were getting close to, to, to being able to do one. And then I, he pretty much uh, shot it down. I think he's now doing more kind of some stuff on the side for the Stern Show. So I understand that. You don't want to be here if uh, you're going to be doing stuff on the side there. But I appreciate Dan getting back to me. Would have been fun to talk to him. Um, Nick DiPaolo, I've worked over. His manager said, yeah, let's do it. And then never heard back. So no Nick DiPaolo, and that's fine. Uh, Mark's, uh, Mark's friggin' Mark Mercer. Um, I thought it'd be fun just to get his take on, on um, you know, guy, listen, who, who's listening to the show more than Mark Mercer? And uh, he was not interested. Very nice uh, email back, but just doesn't do podcast. But I was interested in hearing from him. He said no. John DeBella. I asked John DeBella to be on the show. No, no response from John DeBella. Uh, uh, I'm hesitant to say this name because I, I, we're still working on him. And you may, you may see him on here. Um, Yucko the Clown. I have worked entirely, so, so tirelessly to get him to be part of this show. Um, dealing with his manager, which is, is an interesting take. Um, so hopefully we'll get him on. He's, he's actually doing stuff for Netflix. So I, I'm not sure if he wants to talk about his old days and we wouldn't spend much time on the Yucko days, but I clearly have to ask a couple questions about that. But, uh, no dice there. Scott, the engineer, uh, I'm a little sad by this one. I, I, I feel like Scott would, we'd have a good conversation. I've seen him do other podcasts and I understand he's doing it with people he works with. He doesn't know me. Uh, but I did have, um, kind of a push for him from other people trying to help get him on here. You never know. He might, if I, again, if I continue to try to do some more of these, you may see Scott the Engineer. Hopefully you're enjoying this. I'm just giving some names. Just so you can see the the the, the wide berth of people I've asked. Robin Radzinski. We had a conversation over uh, over text and uh, she just said, you know, I've got this 20 years ago. I've totally not even doing anything in entertainment. I appreciate it. We had a nice talk, but uh, no no dice there. Scott Einzinger, can't find him. Can't, <laughs> I have not heard from him. I put put out feelers. Uh, there's folks that he used to work with. They don't know where he is, but I did send him a few emails, but heard nothing. Uh, David Herman. I don't know if anybody would be interested in Dave, David Herman. And I was just thinking about people who worked with Artie. Artie worked with David Herman at uh, Mad TV. And I've heard Artie tell stories about him and David Herman being together. So I thought he'd be fun. Got shut down just like that. Uh, I guess he's too too busy. Big big time voice actor, David Herman. Uh, Lisa Lampanelli uh, is not doing interviews, but I thought she'd be fun to talk to about the uh, the, the roasts and her time on the show. But uh, she's not doing interviews right now. But we never know. She might be on. She was going to come on very uh, in 2018, actually, when she was coming through St. Louis, and then her mother had uh, some medical issues. Um, Billy West, uh, his manager said no, didn't expect him. Gilbert's manager said no, didn't expect him. Vast Artie, of course. Artie, no response from Artie. Um, was friendly with his sister for a while, even back in the day. And Artie's been through St. Louis. I've met him a few times. So one day, hopefully, Artie. Uh, Michael Rappaport, no response. I have his personal email, but no response there. Uh, Sour Shoes, I have not heard back. <laughs> Tried. Mutt, uh, I don't know if Mutt's still working with the show, but we, he was going to come on here. I uh, was just interested in the fan network, and then there was no response there. Here's one. Um, I was really close. I thought I had him, and um, high pitch Mike. And I, I told Mike, you know, we would have fun here, and I think he thought about it. Uh, and at the end of the day, just decided he didn't want to do it, and I totally, I totally understood. Um, but kind of sad that we couldn't get him on because I think he'd be fun to hear from um, just not outside of that show and but still talking about the show. And then the last one's Teddy Rowland. I can't find Teddy. If anyone can find Teddy, let me know. I'd love to talk to Teddy. And that's just, um, I'm fairly certain that's the, the main list of people that uh, I just couldn't get a hold of. Um, Beetlejuice is, we're waiting for Beetlejuice uh, to get healthy again. I've talked to his manager, wanted to get the manager and beat together. Uh, but no, no dice yet because we're waiting for beat to, uh, start feeling better. 
Um, but yeah, so if, in case you're wondering why I've never, why have I not done that person, that's why. Give me some name. I mean, I did Zolar, you know, I, I started thinking about all Bill Kennison. Um, so again, I was running out of folks and I really appreciate Bill Kennison and Zolar coming on. I'm not, I'm just saying I've tried everybody. So as for the future of the channel, um, I hope to continue to do some of these interviews. Hopefully you stick around and, and, and stay with me as I do. Uh, try to find more folks from that area of the world, um, but it's not going to be what I do exclusively. I'm thinking more broadly again. I'm thinking um, 80s, 90s, reality television, kind of the things that I'm interested in. So I think you'll be seeing more of that. i uh, fan of the WWE, so you've seen a few WWE folks come on. I've worked with comedians a little bit, but it's hard to get them to do because I guess they all have their own podcast, so they don't really need to come on this one. But uh, I'll continue to, to work them over as well. I appreciate Craig Gass and Greg Fitzsimmons and Jim Florentine. All got Ron Zimmerman. I mean, it's pretty amazing to me. I basically got, I think, everybody who's still alive that auditioned for the Jackie chair, outside of Artie, who actually got the Jackie chair, but Greg Fitzsimmons, Craig Gass, and Ron Zimmerman were kind of the, and of course, Richard Jenny, I thought were the guys that were, and, and AJ, AJ Benzo was part of that as well, so... Uh, but anyway, back to, I'm using anybody's ideas. My brother has some pretty good ideas of, of folks and then just kind of off to the side. My wife watches a lot of, uh, terrible reality TV. Uh, I watch it with her and then I get a kick out of it. So maybe people be interested to see some of those people. I might have her over here on the side, kind of helping me with questions because some of these people I don't really know, but she's like, if you can get them, uh, that'd be great. And there's just some TV shows that I watch and hopefully people would be interested in coming and joining me and just having a conversation. Um, but that's that's the goal in the future. And you'll be seeing a new interview popping up here very soon with kind of my idea of where we're going next. But I'll let you take a look at that when you come here. But that is, uh, that's going to be it for this little four-part series of how I monetize. I hope it helps. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any questions you have about anything you've heard in the first four parts, anything you heard in this video about the people who did not join me, or who is coming up and you have ideas for me, I'm always up for listening. Uh, please subscribe. I always, uh, I think that helps when people subscribe. Set your notifications on so you see these videos pop up as soon as I post them. Again, it's usually probably gonna be a, a Monday because as you saw in my earlier videos, Mondays seem like a really good, for some reason they popped. I noticed that when I didn't do it on a Monday or if I, another note is when I did a premiere, didn't work as well. I feel like you have to just sort of watch it, let it upload, and then start your monet hitting the monetization buttons, getting your cards up there, uh, and add your end screens, all that good stuff. But hopefully I've helped you here and given you a little insight into my channel. So I thank you for watching. Again, more interviews coming your way, but I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.